The research that we're doing here at Texas A&M integrates polymer science and electrochemistry, specifically targeted at batteries and fuel cells. Um, these are both used in the electric car. Um, we are integrating new polymers that we synthesize into these devices um, for both lower cost and for safety. We have several different projects um, that range from looking at the electrodes and the materials in the electrodes to the actual membranes that separate the two electrodes. Um, the students in the laboratory here um, are involved with all different disciplines um, from the synthesis part, so chemistry, um, some chemical engineering, some material science, um, and either uh, also other science disciplines. And so I think from that point of view, it's, it's a really exciting uh, field of research. I think one of the things that makes it really important is what we're trying to do with batteries is um, by going to an all solid state battery is we're now making it non-flammable and safe. Uh, with the fuel cell, what we're doing is uh, involving several different engineering approaches, both with the kind of the chemistry, but also the structure of the material to lower the amount of platinum that's involved or even to have no platinum involved. So that lowers the cost of the fuel cell. Um, in both of these areas, uh, we have patents and pending patents, and we're working on transferring that technology to the marketplace. That's a really good question. And so I think what I've done over the years is really view the classroom like a laboratory. Um, and what I mean by that is I'm always constantly doing experiments. And I've noticed that, you know, the way students learn now are very different than maybe the way that I learned many, many years ago. Um, we have just a lot more technology available to us. So every semester, what I try to do is integrate a little bit of more technology into the classroom. Um, I also really try to listen to the students and get a lot of feedback from them about what works and what doesn't work. And so I think for me, teaching in the classroom with students is an is a ongoing, evolving process um, where I really am trying to um, be on top of the pulse of students today and really try to figure out a way to connect with them in the classroom. So for graduate students, um, I'm really interested in the idea of them being explorers in the laboratory. I really like that idea. And to do that and to become an independent investigator, you have to have a tremendous amount of optimism. Um, sometimes that's really hard when experiments don't go your way. Um, but I really try to figure out a way um, for students to be really optimistic. I feel like once you tap into that, um, a lot of really good things happen in the laboratory. Um, with students who are undergraduates who are in my class, um, I know at A&M there's just a profound sense of leadership and I really try to think about that, how can they develop as leaders and I think both for undergraduates and graduate students, my goal is that when you leave this place that you are really ahead of your peers in the in the workplace that you really feel like both in the classroom and in the laboratory the preparation you got here puts you above the rest of your peers from other institutions and you feel like you can really be um, really successful at the next level First off, I would say don't give up. It is uh, a really difficult major, maybe the most difficult major that you can get at a university. Sometimes you want to quit. Uh, when I was an undergrad, I wanted to quit several times. Um, it is very intense, um, and I think everybody who's listening to this who is majoring in chemical engineering can really relate and understand what I'm saying. Um, but I would say uh, don't quit. You belong. Uh, you wouldn't be in the major uh, unless uh, unless you belong and you are capable of doing it. Um, and I can say the follow up to that is the reward is so high. Um, you really are uh, when you get out into the workforce. You really have chemistry, biology, physics, engineering at your fingertips. Um, graduates from chemical engineering have gone into so many different areas, including uh, pharmaceuticals, specialty chemicals gas and oil, um, and I have just met so many chemical engineers over the years who have gone on to get dual degrees in business, medicine, law, 
Um, and I really feel uh, the degree is so intense, um, which is a little bit difficult when you're doing it, but I think that intensity helps prepare you to really be uh, very successful at the next level. And so, um, so don't give up and uh, the reward is very high. Um, the thing that I really love most about Texas A&M is the spirit and connectedness of students. Um, I've really been fortunate the last couple of years to be involved with Fish Camp, and so I can just see um, how important not just the traditions are, but the connectedness of the students. Um, also, in the last couple of years, I've been really fortunate to be the director of the undergraduate program in, the, in our department of chemical engineering. And I've also had a lot of experiences with students where um, I just found them to be uh, very engaged, um, very devoted um, to this place. Um, and for them, A&M is just a very important part of their life. And I've noticed that uh, many alumni of, of A&M and specifically chemical engineering alumni of A&M um, always come back and are very connected to this place. So. The connectedness and the spirit um, has had a profound effect on me, and I really uh, feel that, and I also feel a, a great spirit and connectedness to this place as well, even though I didn't get a degree from here.